for me, I would, you know, someone like Fury, I would love to see him fight Dillian White. Um, reason being is Dillian White has been WBC mandatory for I don't know how long. I don't know, like he's been that mandatory for a lot of time and he deserves his shot at that title. I think he's the only bloke out of all those heavyweights who was one of the top guys who hasn't had his shot. So I'd love to see Fury, you know, give... Um, oh, I forgot his name again already. Um, give Dillian White his shot. Um, I think he beats Dillian White very comfortably. Um, and then I would love to see Joshua and Usyk fight and obviously the winner take on then Fury for the undisputed heavyweight top. And then I guess you could say... Fury can retire, you know, what else What else does he have to more improve in this sport? He's beat every single top-level fighter of his era, you know, there's no one else there for him to beat. So, you know, I'd love to see him go Dillian White and then probably just the um, winner of Usyk and Joshua. For Wilder, mate, I, I guess it's, it's a question I've really come back from that. You know, he showed he's got a ton of heart. He's got, you know, the heart, heart of a lion and, and he, he showed that. But also, too, like I said, those fights take a lot out of you mentally, physically, like... They can really mess you up for a long time, and they're talking that he won't fight till next year. So, I mean, and when you got all that money there too, it's it's a question of do you really want to fight him or do you want to put your health on the line? He is thirty five, I think. So, you know, but if he does decide to fight and he comes back good and he's mentally rejuvenated and his body is, and you know, I think he could go out there and really beat any single one of those top heavyweights. He could he could spark out Joshua any moment. He could spark out Dillian White at any moment. You know, he's just one of those fighters. He's he's um could knock any single one of them out at any point. And same thing with him. His story's un his story's amazing. He started boxing because of his daughter had spina bifida and started at twenty, I think, something like that. So, you know, a lot of these guys have great stories and I don't think anyone should ever question the fact that they, you know, they're they're true champions and they have, you know, the heart of a lion when they step through those ropes and they'll literally give their life in that ring, most of them. So